Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of the Pax of Legacy Challenge. Today, I have an idea. Am I rushing into things a little bit? Yes, I am. But, I want Callum to have an early graduation. And, I don't really see why he can't, because he's a grade A student. He's been the top student in his class for like weeks. I think we can give him an early graduation. So let's jump in. How much sleep have you gotten? Oh wow, your sleep is horrible. But it's too bad for you because you have work. So here's my plan for today. We play through today. Uh, we play through Friday. We play through Saturday. Or we play through Friday. Saturday morning, or tomorrow tomorrow morning, we age up Callum. Because I think that'll be a great time to do it, since Fair will have work. Um, Belladonna, you're up, and Adam, so why don't you come down here, eat fruit pie, and do some yoga, because you don't really have anything you desperately need to do today. Actually, that's a lie. You need to finish researching stocks. You know, my original plan was to age him up today, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow morning when everyone is in the house. Now the question is, do I want to move Callum out this episode or next episode? Because I know for sure that in the next episode we're going to start the scientist career. I just don't know what house I want to do it in quite yet. We'll see though. Oh yes, do go to work. It is 8 a.m. of course. Go, you have showered. So you're no longer stinky, which is good. So now you're just tired. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can lock? Why have I never done this? I don't want to lock fair in. Lock for everyone but household members. Oh! Okay, so then that will that'll stop random strangers coming into my house. Hold up, I see a couple of grim twins over here. And one of them looks surprisingly unpregnant. So that means that Brienne's kids are or kid is born. So if we go over here, family tree, Brienne. Who is this? Dane Geary. Dang, that's lovely. Well, Farah is off to work. Whoa, 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 what was that? Callum can surely enjoy the weekend now. He's one of the top students at Copperdale High School. Perhaps he could make some time for some extra credit assignments just in case. Uh, no. Do I need to do my homework if I'm not going back to school? Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to go up here and ponder moves. If you guys remember also... Logic is almost maxed out, which is incredible. So I think what I'm going to do is max Logic out and then celebrate Callum's birthday. Which shouldn't be that difficult to do. There's got to be some else studies Logic besides just chess. Can't do that either. Alright. What else is there? Can't do the telescope, I can't do the chess. And that's kind of it. I don't have a microscope, but I am assuming that I wouldn't be able to do that either. The game said if you're uncomfortable, then you can't raise logic at all. Deal with it, motherfuckers. You maxed logic, right? Yep, you, la you maxed logic and you maxed wellness. Anyway, you're back home with $513. Both of you go to sleep because I want to get to tomorrow. Ambitious lesson. Valadon is ambitious. Ambitious sims are career focused. If work goes well or poorly, they'll have an emotional reaction. Wh where was that like 10 episodes ago? Is this really working? Alright, it is working. Fine. Have your fun. Because we need you to be a young adult before in the next 12 hours. Like before Barry goes off to work. Is that a bit ambitious? Yeah, probably, but also I am Sim God and I will decide what happens. So you're going to come over here and stargaze before the sun comes up. 
And then if that doesn't work, you're going to come up here and ponder moves. We're going to max out this logic skill or we are going to die trying. No, 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 no. I have already expe expressed my hatred for this fear. I don't care about this one because it's kind of funny if I'm being honest. It really is very funny. But the irony of every single sim having a fear of unfulfilled dreams is getting annoying. Every sim I have ever played with has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. And I am not here for it. Sure, it was funny the first few times. Because... Actually, that's it. It was just funny the first few times. But... Every single sim I've had. Belladonna had this. Adam had this. Riley. I don't think Ferris had No, Ferris did have it because that's when I first expressed my hatred for it. I could really go on a tangent about how much I hate that fear, but I'm not going to because I feel like I've already done it on this channel. This is actually maxing out logic pretty well. How are you already tired? You've done nothing today. When, when did you start getting tired so much easier? You're going to fucking nap is what you're going to do. And then you're going to come back out here and observe the sky. Because by the time you do these things, it will already be bright out. It's kind of weird that I'm still doing the harvest thing. But also, I went back and checked the rules of the challenge. And harvesting fruits and plants and stuff wasn't even part of the original outdoor retreat challenge. I just started doing it to make more money. First Adam did it, and now Farrah's doing it. And her inventory looks absolutely crazy. The only things we have in this neighborhood are chrysanthemums and cherries, but we've been able to get a lot of these things. When did we get that many snapdragons? A lot of these things from different neighborhoods, which is, which is kind of exciting. You are doing yoga to calm down. That is... Very good, very good, very good. Callum, it's time for you to wake up. You only have a few percentages, a, few, a little bit left to get to max logic. Only 6%, which is incredible that you've even made it this far. Reach logic level 10. Let's go. Let's go. Cooking is delectable. Flip those flapjacks, toss that sauce. Fairer is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? This whole episode is just the game pointing out the obvious things about my sims that we've already made canon. So, no, I'm afraid she can't like cooking at all. That's not her job or anything. It's not her life's work. But you're going to come in here and you're going to blow out your candles. To officially become a young adult. Whoopsie doo! Alright, for your aspiration, I want to keep the same one, which is the nerd brain one. I actually really like this aspiration, I think it's fun to play through. You're a vegetarian, you're good, and your third trait for this generation is foodie, which I think makes a lot of sense. Now before, you have like so long before you go into work, so I don't know why I did this so early. We're just going to quickly sell everything in there. Oop, forgot the mushrooms. So now we have 72k, which is absolutely wild. I don't know how I keep getting rich in this save, and oh my gosh. I just looked down here and Callum is like being cut off by... Callum's so tall now, which threw me for a loop because for so long he's been like shorter than Belladonna, but now I think he might be the tallest one in the house, which is kind of interesting. I genuinely think Callum might be the tallest person in this house now, uh, which reminds me, there's a bunch of stuff I need to grab before we move out tonight, so why don't you two just play that game? And I will collect all of your things. I think I have everything I need to move out. 
and yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but it kind of is a lot for just move for one of my sims just moving out. And he won a game of chess. Read something from Nerd Brain Aspiration. Okay, we can read something. Oh, this is a really cute moment, actually. Why do I feel like it's night? It's 11 a.m. or 11.30 a.m. actually. It's really early. It's really weird how right now there are only two portraits of Grimm family heirs. When I know for a fact that there are now 31 generations of this legacy. So they're just chatting, having a nice time. <laughs> when Callum just says, yeah, I really like to bake and it's really nice and all that and that is going to start a little debacle to the point where the relationship bar is in the red yeah Callum and Belladonna aren't really talking to each other right now what is it with you and not staying awake for more than five hours? I'm genuinely curious. I mean, I guess you can go to sleep since we don't really have to do anything until later. But, but like, the second you're done with that nap, we're going to move out because drama. Wait, why are you sleeping? No, no, no. Why are you sleeping? I told you to nap. Because we are moving. We spent a lovely morning with our moms. Forgot to transfer the money. We spent a lovely morning with our mothers. And now it is time for us to go out on our own. So we are going to go to Newcrest with the little money we have. And we are going to buy the Comfy Cubby, which is a micro home. And it is an RV. And voila. Welcome. You are not moving in that. I need you to um, change outfit to this one. Because this one is a nice outfit. Welcome to our new tiny, very cramped house. And it's time to make some of this stuff. Or make this place feel a little bit more like home. Alrighty then, we brought over all the little things that Callum brought with him. His pictures, his toys, that one weird space rock that he got a while ago. Now, if you are interested in how I made an actual working RV, I am using the RV Ready Yet mod by Radashim. Hey Lily, how are you? It's good to see you, of course. I have moved out into this RV to start fresh, to start new, all the things, all the things, and it's going great, as you can tell. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you're still a latte artist. That's not going to work. We're going to need you to quit your day job. And become something that your mother desperately wants you to be. But you're kind of interested in as well. So you might as well check it out. And that of course being the scientist for career. In the get, as you know in the get to work expansion. You have the detective career, the doctor career, and the scientist career. This one we're doing right now. Although I would like to do these other two at some point. And we need to have six breakthroughs. I'm not really sure if we have the stuff to get breakthroughs here. I know you can get them with chess and with books, but we don't really have either. Or I could reread these books. Those could help, but we might have to save up for some stuff. There is a storyline I do want to do with Callum, and I feel like I've talked about this before. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird. It is something that The Sims put into this game that I hardly see anyone 
really do just because of how weird it is. Eureka! Have a scientific brain through the shower. Wow, that's great. What was I saying? Right. No, I haven't really seen any Simmer do this kind of storyline before. Other than like a pack review or something. So I am a little bit nervous about doing it. But I think it should be. But I th think I'm going to wait until next episode to really explore it. The Scientist Career. If you are enjoying this series, then leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing because it doesn't hurt anyone. And you can always change your mind if you want to. But with all that out of the way, I will see you all in the next video. Avidas and everybody.